Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. In this session, I shall be demonstrating how to configure a DNS service in Cisco Packet Tracer. So for this, let me first tell you which are the components we require. Moreover, now look at the title configuring a DNS service. In order to do this, we require a server and we call that server as the DNS server. So first, let me pick the devices, place it here, connect it, then I'll tell you the purpose fine so i have taken only two pcs here in this network and i'll be taking one server here and i need one more server also i'll tell you the purpose so this server now let me connect all the devices i'll use this automatic connection connect pc1 to switch then connect this server to switch connect the other server to switch fine and i will name this first server as the dns server domain name system and the other server i'll name it as gmail So in this LAN, I have taken two PCs. You can take any number of PCs. Mainly now, let me tell you what is the purpose of this particular experiment because we are demonstrating here how to configure a DNS service. So before learning this network setup, you should know what is the purpose of the DNS. This DNS, the full form is domain name system and it translates whatever domain names the user uses in its browser to its equivalent IPv4 address. See, normally what now, suppose if this is PC0, I'm using this PC0 and I'll be typing in my browser amazon.com. So I'm using the host name here, that is the Amazon server name, but the my PC doesn't know, doesn't understand this host name or the server name. It needs the IPv4 address. So the mapping of this IPv4 address with the host name that is whatever is the ipv4 address of the amazon.com suppose let us take 192.0.2.44 is the ipv4 address for amazon.com so the host name and its ip address that that mapping will be stored in a server called as dns so this is the what this is the purpose i am using here this dns server so my pc will fetch that information from this server and then we are able to retrieve the amazon page similarly if you want I am just trying to show you here with an example of Gmail. Suppose I want to use the Gmail server, then I will be typing gmail.com. So for that reason, for the purpose of demo, I am using Gmail. Here you can use any other name also, Amazon or Flipkart or Google. So whatever server you want to access from your PC, that particular name, you can use it for the other server. So this is what basically is the purpose of the other server that I am using. This, this is for the demo purpose, the server name or the host name, I will be using it from my PC. So I have taken one more PC, it is not required for the demo, but I will tell you what for what reason I am including one more PC also in this particular setup. So let us see what are the different things we will be doing here. Normally in simpler words we can say, this particular domain name system converts domain name into an IP address. Now what is domain name? Domain name is the name of the server, the name of the host, even you can store the host name and its IP address. You can store the server name and its IP address into this server, which server? DNS server. So that's why in general we use the word as domain name. Mapping of domain name with an IPv4 address is stored in this server. Whenever you type on your web browser any particular website, it will fetch from this server and the web page will be shown on your screen. Let us do the configurations now for all these devices. So what? let me first tell you what are the IPv4 address I have decided to give to these devices. Let me give 
वन डॉट टू वन डॉट टू फॉर दिस पी सी जीरो एंड फॉर पी सी वन वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट थ्री एंड वी नीड टू गिव डेफिनेटली द आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस फॉर दिस सर्वर ऑल्सो सो लेट एस गिव वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन एंड ऑल्सो वी नीड टू गिव द आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस फॉर द जी मेल सर्वर वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट फोर सो दीज आर द आई पी वी फोर एड्रेसेस वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू गिव नो लेट एस क्विकली कॉन्फिगर दिस गो टू पी सी जीरो गो टू डेस्कटॉप आई पी कॉन्फिग टाइप द एड्रेस वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट टू द सबनेट मास्क विल अपियर क्लोज दिस मोर एवर नाउ इट सेल्फ आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल यू दैट बिफोर यू क्लोज दिस यू कैन अजाइन द डिफॉल्ट गेट वे हियर सॉरी यू कैन अजाइन द डी एन एस सर्वर आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस हियर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिसाइडेड नो विल गिव वन डॉट वन वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन एस दी आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस फॉर द डी एन एस सर्वर सिंस हियर इट इज मैंशन फॉर ईच ऑफ द पीसीज यू नीड टू गिव दैट आई पी वी फोर एड्रेस ऑफ द डी एन एस सर्वर वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन सो नाउ इट्स विल फिनिश दिस जॉब देन विल गो टू पी सी वन सेम थिंग वी हैव टू डू हियर सो वॉट इज दैट वी डिसाइडेड टू गिव वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट थ्री एंड द डी एन एस सर्वर इज वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन फाइन सो दिस कंप्लीट्स द पी सी पी सी कॉन्फिग्रेशन नाउ लेट एस गो टू द सर्वर नाउ दिस इज द डी एन एस सर्वर इन अवर नेटवर्क सेटअप विल कॉन्फिगर दिस वन नाइंटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन डॉट वन and remember that in this case you need to give the dns server ipv4 address definitely it will be the same here so whatever is the ipv4 address of the dns server becomes the ipv4 address of the dns server value here okay so this also we have completed now we'll go to the next one in the next server in the setup that is the gmail server so let us give the ipv4 address what is that we decided 1.4 okay let me keep this here fine 192.168.1.4 and here also you need to give the dns server value 192.168.1.1 so once you complete this now i will tell you the next step so this completes what the configuration for all the devices in the network setup so what is the next thing we need to do is click to this gmail server select http service then here you can see the different files click to this index okay let me click like yeah index.html and between these tabs you can see that between this html tabs whatever is written whatever is written earlier by default something is appearing i'll delete that i'll make it uh, i'll write a sentence hello everyone welcome back welcome to my channel welcome to engineering wing so i'm just typing this sentence in between these two tags the reason is when i try from my pc okay when i try to open this gmail i want to see this sentence appearing on my screen that's the reason whatever sentence you want to make it appear on your screen from the on the pc the same thing you can type it here so after this you save it will ask whether this is already a file with the same name overwrite yes yes close it now the next setting has to be done in the dns server go to the dns server once again click to services so in servers mo most of the time we click the tab services only now this what service we require here dns click to service make it on fine then you type the name of the domain name now here it is gmail.com 
and what address we gave to this server 192.168.1.4 now i want to add you need to click to this add whatever record you have included here normal normally we call this as a record the domain name and you have type its ipv4 address add it will get added here and it will appear you can see this is what this is the it starts the numbering from zero this is the zeroth record here and it has saved the ip address and the server name over now we'll just close this now how to verify whether we are able to retrieve this domain name from my pc i'll go to pc zero so i'll click to web browser here i will type gmail.com look here the sentence has appeared hello everyone welcome to engineering wing so this way what has happened here is see my pc is pc0 from the web browser i have typed gmail.com and whatever is the sentence which i had included in my server just to verify that yes it is able to map gmail.com with 192.168.1.4 i had written this sentence now i i can tell that yes the mapping has been done successfully and the pc is able to retrieve that particular information from the dns server and the website is and the web page is getting opened on my screen so this is just an example that i have done gmail.com even though i am using and and, um, and also i am assigning randomly some ipv4 address it is accepting because it is a simulator it is accepting but in real it once the gmail.com is there whatever is the real server for that you cannot randomly give any ipv4 address since you are using a simulator you can do these kind of things so hope this is clear to you all now one more thing i wanted to tell you it's not that only the server names and their ip addresses will be stored in the dns server you can even store the pc you give some name to pc suppose now i want to give this pc0 see now i'll tell you first suppose if i am if i want to ping from pc1 to pc0 fine i'll just click here go to the command prompt i want to ping from pc1 to pc0 so if i'm typing the address 192.168.1.2 then i am getting the reply fine this is okay this is what we have been seeing also in the previous experiments suppose now i have named my pc0 okay with some name let me write here now i have named the pc0 let me write my name only so i have named this pc as shabana now i'll go to this pc1 and i'll try to ping ping shabana then you are not able to get the reply definitely it is not identifying that this particular host name has got the ip address 192.168.1.2 nowhere this record is there in the dns server so now first now we'll do one thing we'll save this record in the dns server also we'll go to the services tab we'll select dns i'll add the record so i want this particular host name shabana to get identified with 192.168.1.2 okay and i will add this so it got added here now you can see in my dns server i have two records stored now let me close this now go back to pc1 go to ip conf uh, go back to pc1 command prompt now you try to ping ping shabana now you are able to get the reply so what does it mean now the system that is pc1 has re retrieved this information from the dns server wherein you have already stored what the mapping of the host name with the ipv4 address hope it is clear to you all this concept so likewise you can add any number of records in the dns server and try to verify by using the ping command or you can go to the web browser and type the server name and to check whether it successfully works or not before that you need to go to that server and type some text so that you'll be able to verify it properly hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care